Hey Libra, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Libra. What is going on with Libra? At the very moment in time, you could be chewing like some minty fresh gum. Like I'm tasting like a, a minty or winter fresh or minty fresh gum. I feel like you tried to like chew the gum, but then also drink or eat something and your breath was still super minty. <laughs> I feel like someone here has that type of taste in their mouth right now. All right. For Libra, let's see what y'all got going on. We have apples for, could literally be eating an apple. I'm seeing someone chewing like gum or brushing their teeth and immediately having like orange juice or eating an apple. You know how it is when you, right after you brush your teeth or you chew gum and you eat something and it tastes, you know, like minty. We have coming of winter <laughs> after saying winter fresh. Silence, and these numbers are 4, 11, 36, and we have frog, 17. Someone's definitely using candles, candle magic. I'm seeing the color orange a lot. And we have witch, 43, yeah. Definitely, um, whether you know it or not, I feel like you're kind of like a kitchen witch. And it doesn't mean you actually are casting spells, but I feel like you just instinctively or intuitively grab certain herbs and spices or light certain candles or have certain colors or do certain things around certain times that influence or enhance your emotions or help you manifest at this time. I feel like you're picking certain flowers, certain candles, certain scents, certain smells, certain herbs that help you. And right now, especially with apples, I feel like you're manifesting something that you really want, your desires. I wouldn't be surprised if the Nine of Cups doesn't come out. But I'm also getting the Seven of Cups, like, but I don't get that you're confused. I get that someone else is inspired by you or you inspire someone. I feel like your absence is inspiring someone to chase you as well. And with the card coming of winter, I'm getting coming soon. So while you're sitting there chilling, thriving, living your best life and completing your 2023 goals, because I feel like you have some goals that you're already about to complete. There's someone coming in for you, someone chasing you. You don't see them coming at all. You don't see this person coming at all. It could be a job, an opportunity, person, place, or thing. They desire you greatly. And you don't even realize you manifested them because you've been chilling. You're literally, you've been sitting here in silence like this, just thriving, decorating your home or doing interior design, just living your best life. You've just been thriving, not bothering anyone. And then here comes this person. So let's get that. Um, let's pull these cards. Believe it. And see who this is. Your home smells amazing, by the way. When people come into your home, they can smell the time of year it is. They can smell the season in your home. Oh, that card fell out. We have the Emperor, Aries. So you could be dealing with a father figure or a business owner. This is the person who is desiring you, this emperor, this Aries, or this older uh, gentleman or father figure. This could be an older woman for some of you, but this is someone who's like a boss type figure, who has their priorities in check. They know what they want and they go after it. This person has their eyes dead set on you. The fool. I feel like this person's like a fool for you. You got someone who's madly in love. I don't know why I get the word a drifter. I don't know if you are a drifter or they are. But coming of winter, you're getting like, this person wants to offer you a rose. They're going to approach you. They're going to let you know how they feel. They're going to be very direct. I don't know why I want to say they're going to be very humble. This person's very respectful and very respected as well. The Fool is also Aquarius. Uh, we have the High Priestess, Pisces. Yeah, you sit in your silence because you know you have the knowledge that the universe will bring towards you what you manifest, what you wish for. But I also feel like you may have knowledge of this person. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're just focused at work. Am I seeing this correctly? No, this is the, I'm sorry. This is the Eight of Wands. I apologize. Eight of Wands. Okay, so it's still the same energy. Messages are coming in. Creative energy is coming in. I don't know why I want to say drama, but I don't feel like anything bad. I feel like you are, like your manifestations are coming to you rapidly. Of course, you're getting a lot of rapid fire on intuitive messages. Like even though the Eight of Wands is messages and fast-paced moving forward, 
of course, you're getting a lot of psychic downloads, a lot of creative ideas on how to decorate your home or your office in order to influence your goals. But I'm getting like you're getting a lot of messages as far as um, I don't know why I get the eight of wands as the seven of wands, like defense. Overall energy is the six of pentacles, equal give and take justice, balance. So this could be someone from your past. I feel like, because I don't see you giving to this person. You have knowledge of this person for some of you, but I don't see you caring or giving. You you don't feel no type of way about it. I don't get that you have any hard feelings but or just any dislike, but I get that you just don't care. You're just focused on you. Whereas someone here wants to create balance and give equally to you. And they're coming in very fast with frogs. They want to work with you. They're coming towards you very fast. You will be hearing from this person very soon. And I mean like soon within like a week or two. It ain't going to take no month or years or none of that. It's going to be like within two weeks, you are going to hear from this person. And they are going to be very direct about their feelings to you. And they want equal give and take with you. They're going to like, they're going to let you know. I feel like it's going to be a lot of messages back and forth between this person. You're going to have all the information and knowledge you need. Um, if you're wanting to get the answers about anything, silence is how you get your answers. Because in your silence, you have the high priestess clarifying silence. And your silence is when you get all the answers. So that's like when you're talking to someone or like, Say, for instance, there's this tactic that people use that when someone's venting to you and they wait, like they take a pause and they wait for um, like a response from you. If you stay silent in order to avoid the awkward pause, that person will keep talking and keep revealing information. So you get more information when you are silent versus you speaking. So if you want the truth or you want to hear from someone or you want some type of answer or knowledge, don't do anything. Don't say anything. Silence is how you get your answer. All right, that's for someone here. You are getting justice, though, for whatever this is. Clarifying the emperor is the two of swords. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. So this emperor, this is someone you may have dealt with before. For a lot of you, for others of you, this could be a new person. Take it as it resonates. Regardless, this person wants a new stable beginning in abundance with you. They're taking a new leaf with you, turning over a new leaf. Yeah, Page of Cups, for a lot of you, this is a new person. But again, for others of you, this, one, this is someone who just wants to start over with you. They want a new beginning with you. Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. That's how they see you, someone very stable. I feel like they, they see you as a good homemaker. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but someone who knows how to take care of the home and cook and clean and do all those things. Or just someone who's very stable and grounded in their emotions and their stability and their finances. They see you as the queen of pentacles. The perfect partner. Someone they would want on in every area of their life. At work, at home, emotionally, financially, mentally. You're someone they would always want by their side and on their team. The queen of pentacles will keep the emperor stable. And then we have the eight of pentacles right after I say that with the high priestess. So this could definitely be someone you work with. Nine of cups. And I was saying at the beginning, I'm getting nine of cups energy for this wish fulfillment. So if there is a high paying job or a high status job you've been wanting, you're going to get it. Whoever runs this company, the CEO, the boss, they like you a lot and they want you to be work right beside them. Even if you are like a secretary, like you are getting paid a lot. This person wants you to work directly with them, right beside them, either as their secretary or like as their partner, not romantically, but as their like right hand man or woman they see you as highly intuitive you know your shit so and when it comes to a company um you could be just like a basic you know employee but with the high priestess i feel like a lot of you are front desk or something you work a lot i feel like you handle so much beyond your job description that this person you get paid more than the average person would for your position and this person wants to move you up they value you so much they want some type of um, partnership with you. I feel like this person, they may have feelings for you as well. I feel like someone has a crush on you, but I'm more so feeling like they um, very much admire your work ethic. 
this emperor wants you right beside them. Clarifying the eight of wands and ten of wands. So you could have been getting a lot of emails, calls, texts, and like juggling so much from this job that has caused you to have burnout and, and um, your boss or whoever is allowing you paid leave. For some of you, I get three days. For others of you, three weeks. It's whatever you need. I feel like this person's offering you paid leave. Yeah, Six of Swords, rest, rejuvenation. I don't know why I'm getting pollination. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what pollinating is, but like how it relates to your reading. Maybe you get, you're nurtured as you rest. We have judgment, page of wands. Yeah, so you could have been going on a hiatus and it's manifesting your creativity. So I guess pollinating Makes sense. Six of Pentacles, evil give and take. So your boss, this person, this emperor knows that um, you get what you give in this um, job. You put in a lot of work and this person wants to give that back to you. This, this person sees that you get results with the work that you put in. They value you so much at this company. If you don't take anything from this reading, take that. Your boss, the CEO of this company, they value you so freaking much because you get results every single time. You put in a lot of hard work and you always return that to this company. Always six of pentacles at the overall energy in the sun. This person, they, they kiss your feet. They'll kiss the ground you walk on. If you say you need some time off, some paid leave because you have burnout, they're going to give that to you. Because no one else can do your job the way that you do. You have silence, the high priestess, eight of pentacles, nine of cups. You are like the dream employee. That's why they want you right by their side. Every um, every interview or travel they have, they want you to come. They pay for your flight. They want you to be there. You are their right-hand man because no one can do the job better. You know all the ins and outs of this company. You could do their job and they know this. That's why they love having you on their side. But I get that you're getting overwhelmed with handling all the bookings and emails and calls and every aspect of this business. You're tired. You need a break. It's become overwhelming and it's draining you of your creative energy. And so it's time for some paid time off, whether it's three days or three weeks for some of you. This, this boss, your boss will understand and they are going to give that to you. They may have a temporary stand in, but they, they're never going to measure up to you. So it's okay to take a break. Know that your position will be there when you get back and you will get a warm welcoming. So this could go for whether you work for a company or for yourself or as a platform or whatever. Trust me, your position will be, they will be happy welcoming you with open arms when you come back. But this is a much needed break because you're manifesting this page wants a new zest, a new creativity, a new love for your job. So if you put in, like, just like when you put in a lot of work to your career, you get it back. When you put work into your resting and letting it go, you get that back. Your creativity is going to, it's going to come back to you like that. That's why I get three days. Some of you may need three weeks, but like three days is more than that. Let me get you your final message for Libra. Final message for Libra. This is all about creativity. I do feel like your, your boss... They admire you, but I do feel like they may have a little crush on you, but it's nothing like inappropriate or that will make you uncomfortable or anything like that. It's just, of course, admiration leads to a little crush, page of cups. This person does have a little crush on you, but it's not like they will ever make you uncomfortable or, or overstep or anything like that. It's nothing like that. This person will never try you. But you are valued highly. And you are irreplaceable. All right, we have volcano, patience, repression, lust. So like I said, and then with apples, that is lust as well. This person does have a, they do lust after you. For some of you, this person may have flirted with you, but it, I don't think it was anything that made you uncomfortable. All right, we have wings, wishes, ambition, wandering. Yes, you chasing your dreams. And this is why this person loves you so much. Like they like you so much because of your ambition. You chase your dreams, your goals. They love that about you. And then we have told the humor, humor, the grotesque joy. Like, I feel like the last thing you want to do is stop working. But I get that. I feel like some of you are were forced to take leave because you got sick. Because I keep tasting that minty taste, but with orange juice. And I only ever get that combination when I'm sick. Like, I'll take my medicine and it'll have like vapor rub or something in it. And I'll drink orange juice and I'll have that minty taste and like vitamin C taste. So some of you could be... 
if you decide not to take a break, you probably fall sick and forced to take one. Over on G's book, Hope, Ignorance, Revelation. So yeah, your boss definitely has a crush on you. <laughs> but I feel like overworking yourself could repress this lustful energy within you. And lust, I'm learning, is just like creative energy, sacral chakra energy, your creativity. It's being repressed by being overworked and under, well, not underpaid, but just overworked. But just a little bit of like rest, or if not rest, just to sit back and laugh a little bit. Having a work-life balance. I see you coming right back to work and getting back on track. And I don't even see you falling off, to be honest. I just don't want you to worry about taking a break. If there is a high paying job or position you want, you are going to get it. Trust me, your track record, people see it. You have nothing to worry about when it comes to work. And this boss figure, they definitely have a huge crush on you. All right, so if you were ignorant to that, don't be anymore. And if you are worried about this job or position, you're going to get it. It, all of it's going to be made very clear to you very soon. You're getting justice. Everything you put into something is going to come back to you. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.